guys, welcome to today's video. We're going to be doing something a little different than what I've been doing. I ha this was completely unplanned. I'd actually planned on filming a different video today, but I was browsing around Ulta like I usually do after work, and I ran across this product. It is the Charcoal Rubber Modeling Mask, and I started reading at it, and it's a little powder, and you're supposed to mix water with it, apply it to your face and then it turns into like a rubber peel that's supposed to detoxify your skin. I thought it was super cool. I was really curious about it and I thought well if I'm sitting here wondering about it surely somebody else is. But anyway you're gonna get to it may be a flop it may be a win but either way you're gonna get to see me apply this rubber mask to my face and see how it goes. It was six dollars. It's a one use mask. It's the directions are add seven spoonfuls of water in the tub with the included spoon stir quickly with the flat spatula side of the spoon as soon as the powder is dissolved immediately apply a thick opaque layer evenly to clean dry skin make sure you apply a thick coating around the edges so you can easily remove it avoid the eyes eyebrows and lips leave on for 20 minutes or until it is dry and rubbery Slowly peel off the mask from bottom and outer edges. Rinse any remaining residue with warm water. So I'm really interested to see. I just think this is kind of cool. Um, I like to do face masks a lot. That's one of the secrets I have to keeping my skin looking like it does. Right now, my skin, I have dry patches on my forehead and around my chin and my jaw. And for some ungodly reason, I've been getting breakouts now. If you know me, that's very uncharacteristic of my skin. Uh, I've been getting a lot of breakouts here on my chin and um, right here between my eyebrows and one like gnarly one right here where my nose crease, crevice, whatever you call it is. So I'm going to go rinse off my makeup. Next time you see me, I will be in different clothes. I'm wearing my nice dress that I wore to work. I don't want to get anything charcoal-y on my clothes. One thing I do want to give you a heads up on, I've used charcoal masks like this in the past and they tend to stain. So I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. No makeup, no eyebrows, scary. I did pull up half of my hair because I didn't want this to get all up in my hair. I did wash my hair today. Don't plan on washing it tomorrow. So I want to keep as much of this product out of my hair as possible. So I'm going to follow directions exactly like it tells me. Have a little bowl of water here and going to get to mixing. So it comes in like, kind of reminds me of like the cup of noodles bowl, but it's plastic. Oh, be careful when you open it. Okay. Just kind of looks like a protein powder right now. Okay. So the directions say, I got some all over my pants, which is why I'm glad I changed. Seven spoonfuls of water. I'm going to put my water down here so you're not looking at my face at like this super funky angle. One. Two. stir quickly like it said it kind of looks like I'm mixing up brick mortar it really kind of stinks um, if you have asthma probably not a great idea to use this I don't feel like that's enough water I'm going to add another spoonful because I don't feel like that was enough. Okay. Somebody in the comments is probably going to be like, you didn't follow the directions. But, I mean, if you're supposed to dissolve all the powder, you're going to need more than seven spoonfuls. Alright. This definitely looks like modeling clay. I normally apply my face masks with a um, foundation brush, so 
but don't think this is going to need it. I mean, it looks like really thick Play-Doh. So I'm just gonna apply it with my fingers and hope for the best. Still very dry. Don't understand how this is going to work. So I'm gonna apply this and I will um, video the whole time. I brought my phone to hang out with and I will do that um, just so I can fast forward and see. All right, so. God, how do you apply this to your face? Ugh. Okay, do it with my fingers. See, it's like Play-Doh mud. Alright, this is going to be a disaster. can't believe I'm going to put this on YouTube. I have no other mirror, so I'm using my, like, little viewfinder. Or my little monitor. Okay, this is super messy. Yeah, don't wear anything that you care about really while doing this okay I followed the directions exactly this is really hard I mean it's just crumbling off like what the heck I'm putting more water in this thing this is no Sorry, mailman's here to deliver my package, and my dogs are freaking out. Okay, so I might have added a little too much water, but we're going with it. Okay. Okay, said so avoid the lip area. Didn't really do a good job of that. Okay. Oh my gosh, this is everywhere. If you're a texture person, like you don't like weird textures on your face, this is a hard pass. Um, very, very messy. Um, don't really know how this is going to peel off. I mean, I feel like I've got clay all over my face. Okay. Yeah. Oh, it's a, ugh. Oh, it's about to get in my mouth. Okay. Okay. Definitely did not avoid the eyebrows. But really, I mean, how can you when you're spreading it all over your forehead? Ugh. Okay. This better make my skin feel glorious. Because right now, I feel like I've just smeared gobbledy glue all over it. <laughs> all up in my eyebrows. Okay. It's in my hair. Alright. So, super messy. Um, there's actually enough for like two applications. Um, oh man, I just dropped some all over my pants. Okay. So, if you and a girlfriend like want to get together one night, yeah, that would work. Um, don't really think any of my friends would do this. Um, I have a friend, she hates um, anything like this on her skin. So, I'm going to go wash my hands and we're going to hang out until this lovely hot mess um, dries. So, Hopefully it's really awesome and I didn't just waste six dollars. So I'm gonna go wash my hands. I'll be right back.
it is very cooling right now. Um, I can feel it drying down a little bit, but we'll see how this goes. super weird it's actually like you can see it's not transferring onto my skin it's really it really is turning into rubber okay cool all right it said to leave it on for 20 minutes i think and i just dipped my clean towel in here um 15 to 20 minutes i still have seven minutes on the clock but it is dry um it does feel a little bit rubbery um i have a towel here um because i have a feeling this is going to be a hot mess so i'm going to try to make the least amount of mess possible so i'm going to start right here oh it is very rubbery um very weird okay this is not going to peel off in one piece, guys. It's going to be in chunks. Um, if you would like to be a zombie for Halloween, I feel like this is perfect zombie skin. Plus, you know, you can, you know, face mask while, while you're at it. Yeah, this is perfect if you want to be a zombie. Oh, oh, I got it all up in my nose, y'all. Now we know why they said stay away from eyebrows. This is making a gosh awful mess. I'm so glad I brought a towel out here with me. Okay, so some of the parts weren't like super dry. Like right. <laughs> help. Oh, please send help. This is like cake everywhere. Please avoid eyebrows, guys. Please avoid eyebrows. What have I done? I immediately regret my decision. Ugh. Sorry, my neighbor's dogs are losing their mind. This is everywhere. Oh my gosh. Okay. This is a mega, a mega hot mess. Maybe I didn't wait enough time. I don't know. It was too late because whatever's in my cup is rubberized. Which is good because I just dropped it on my carpet. <laughs> All right. Okay, I'm gonna, um, yeah, okay, so I dunk the corner of my towel in my water bowl, because it did say to rinse off the residue, and like this right here, that's powder, that's not coming off. And under my chin, I have it. Okay. This. Oh my gosh. Get my hair. Y'all's chin, or like whenever you get a bump, does it ever feel really sore for a little while? Alright, so. Oh, no, no. Still got some of my sideburns. Which, in hindsight, should have filmed this in the bathroom. Well, now we know. Okay. 
So my skin, um, <laughs> oddly enough, it does feel really good. It feels very soft and clean. Um, like this is what I peeled off my face. It is little rubber chunks that I have gotten down my shirt, everywhere. Definitely film this, or not film, like normal people film themselves doing stuff. Definitely do this face mask. Um, I would probably do it at night before you go to bed. Um, it's very cool. It's very weird, and it's different. Um, it's not going to be everybody's cup of tea. Still had quite a bit in there, so if you and a girlfriend or whatever want to get together and do it, I do enjoy how soft, crazy soft my skin feels. Like, it feels like a baby's bottom right now. It was very cooling. I imagine this would be great if you've had sunburn or something like that on your skin. Um, do not get it in your eyebrows. That was a disaster. Um, don't wear anything that you don't want to get super messy. I don't know if you can see my shirt, but it is all over the place. So, if you don't mind the mess factor, I absolutely love the way this made my skin feel. I would even probably take it down the neck next time, and if I do decide to do this again. It is an Ulta brand, so there you go, guys. The Ulta, trying to get it, where the light... Ulta Charcoal Rubber Modeling Mask. I would say, out of 10 stars, I would give this an 8. I'm deducting 2 stars just for the sheer fact that it is absolutely everywhere right now. I'm going to have to vacuum in a minute. So, But yeah, guys, skin feels great. I'm going to go take a bubble bath and watch Jeopardy like an 80-year-old woman because my life. Thank you guys for watching. Make sure you subscribe. Um, I won't do videos like this super often. I just thought it was neat and it was really intriguing and I thought surely I'm not the only one curious about this kind of stuff. I mean it does dry down. It's not coming out. So make sure you subscribe, ring the bell, and stay tuned for future videos.